Snap those head and eyes around. Good, good plant throw right there. Well done. Absolutely. I think the quarterback position is the one, the one position on the field I think you had to have played to really coach it and understand it. I think, you know, if you're telling a guy, you know, to go out and do something in terms of, you know, seeing a blitz, seeing the rotation of the coverage, I think that, you know, you have to have had seen that too to really explain it, really understand what the pressure is coming with that position. Um, I think the amount of responsibility that comes with that position through your teammates, their families, I think is huge. I think you have to understand that. You have their livelihoods in your hands every snap and to be able to protect that football you know, to deliver the football to the right spot on time and accurate. I think you really have had to have your hands underneath the center to really understand what that's like. Johnny football up in the pocket. He's running. He's in the 10, the 5, touchdown! Manziel dives in! If you don't have great character at the quarterback position, then you have no chance to succeed. So that doesn't give you a 100% chance for success, but it gives you a chance. Number two, you have to make it be a great decision maker and be make quick decisions on, to, on time. You have to be able to throw the ball on time from a bunch of different launch points, and then you have to be accurate. Decision making, timing, accuracy are things that are really hard to coach. So we need to have an answer in the quarterback room. We're in the process of doing that, and we're looking forward to getting some guys in there, and whoever that may be, whether they're here or not, uh, we're looking forward to getting those guys in, learning the new offense. Uh, and the other thing will be just understanding what our guys do well. I have a good feel for it. I've watched all of our games. But to see these guys do that in person, you know, it's different than watching it on tape. It's because seeing their personalities and, and getting to know them as people, I think that's a whole different ball game than watching you know, on tape and seeing what, these, what you think these guys do well is actually seeing it and hearing it from them, what they see, how they see themselves. So that's going to be a process. It's not something that can happen overnight. Um, the quarterback position is not going to be solved overnight, but it's going to get solved, and, and we're going to be onward and upward from there. What drives me is fear of failure. You know, I, I wake up every day. No one thinking that somebody's out, out working me, um, out scheming me. Um, that 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 drives me. I mean, there's you can never watch enough tape. You can never um, study enough. You can never study people enough. That's what gets me is fear of failure. And and you know, my wife calls me a workaholic, uh, which I probably am. I'm married to my job, but it's way the only way I know how to operate. I have a tradition. I. I go out for a run before every game. So we're here, when I was in Oakland, we came here to play this year. So I went out for my morning run before the game. And, you know, I go out of the hotel and the first thing you, need, you see is all these vans and Winnebago's of the Cleveland Browns fans that are already at the game. And I'm, a, I'm up pretty early running now. I mean, it's, I'm up fairly early. It's like 6.30, 7 in the morning. So I was like, I was blown away by the passionate fan base of, of the Cleveland Browns because I had only played it here twice being an opponent. So I'm really looking forward to, you know, putting a great product on the field for our fans and something that they're going to be excited about.